Hello and welcome to Learning Strategies. This is a short video that is just designed to kind of give you the layout of the course, um, some tips on how to complete it, and answer a few questions along the way, go over a few of our policies, and to make sure that uh, you do really well in this course. So please pay attention as we cut through and go through a few of these uh, key details for you. The format for all of the modules is very similar. Watch the video, answer some questions, read the article, answer some questions, watch the video and or article, and maybe do a small assignment on them. With that in mind, make sure that you are actually doing it. It sounds so simple, uh, but these courses are not laid out uh, to trick you in any way. It is basically to try and help you. So what you need to do is actually do the work. Uh, don't take the shortcuts, don't have a whole bunch of distractions going. Spend the two minutes, watch the video, answer the questions, read the article with no other distractions, and you will do great in this course. So lesson one, do the work, you will do fantastic in this course. Our AI policy is laid out for you right here. Spend a little bit of time, go over it, make sure you read it, make sure you understand. To kind of summarize it for you is we view AI as a tool and there's a time and a place to use it. So you will see some activities where we're asking for a personal response, not an AI response, a personal response. So you'll see it probably will have uh, the old red light here uh, saying basically, no, you're not allowed to use AI. We actually want to know what you know. So those ones are ones where we do not want you to use AI. Later on, you'll probably see in learning chats uh, 2535 that you'll see that there's more green light activities, whereas yes, we actually want you, we want to show you the benefits of uh, being able to use AI as a tool. So you'll see those green light activities. And yes, it will clearly state. In short, uh, we don't want you to use AI when it's supposed to be stuff about you. So when it's a personal response, you'll see there's usually a little blurb on the bottom that says we want you know, no Grammarly, nothing like that. We, we just want your response. There's no marks actually for grammar. So putting it through some type of grammar checker or filter, anything, there's actually no marks for it. Okay. So we are marking your thoughts. Uh, we're not worried uh, too much about writing conventions or anything like that. So please do not do that because then it triggers AI uh, detection. And this may shock you, my friends, but we did not get into education to be AI cops. Uh, and it actually really stinks to have to go through and prove and, ugh, it. And to be totally honest, when you've marked uh, and uh, done as much marking as we have, you can spot it a mile away uh, and you go, yeah, there it is. And we don't want to do it. <laughs> All right. So don't use it. There's no marks for it. It triggers. Uh, potential zeros, uh, it tr triggers meetings with admin, it just it calls home and it's just, ugh, don't do it. When it's time for you to respond uh, authentically, make sure it's you, okay? And when it's time to use AI as a tool, you will see the green light and yes, we want you to use it, okay? At the end of each of uh, learning strats 15, 25, and 35, you'll see a performance task. Uh, and the reason why we do this is it's a chance for you to do your proof learning. It's kind of like a, not really a final exam because it's not really that high pressure, high stakes. It's basically taking the information that you've obtained throughout uh, the courses that you've been taking and apply it. So in learning strats 15, it will be based on all the stuff that you've kind of gone over. Now, usually these are big topics. Please understand there's nothing you have to actually study for. I promise you there's nothing there that's there to trick you. There's even a few prompts on the sheet to kind of trigger, remember, remember this video, remember this article you read about. Um, so there's nothing there. It's one question that you can respond to either orally, so you can kind of just present uh, to the teacher. Uh, or there is a written component where you can do a written version of that, which would be more like a written response type scenario where you're just kind of putting your thoughts down and kind of outlining some things, not real format, uh, but more of like a social studies, uh, if you're familiar with those, a social studies type response. Okay. So the performance task comes in, the weightings, uh, for the course look like this. So you'll see, um, that. Yes, they are weighted pretty heavy, but I promise you, you have my word, they are not meant to trick you. If you actually watch the videos and read the articles, you will do well on the course. That being said, if some of you, one or two of you are tempted to kind of AI a whole bunch of the stuff and not really watch the videos, you will have a hard time doing well on the performance tasks. So if you skip all the little simple steps at the end, I always think of it like running a marathon. If you've skipped all the practice runs and you show up to run the marathon at the end, you will not do well and you will be exposed. And unfortunately that triggers a whole bunch of other issues that ugh, you do not want to go down that road. 
but it's meetings, it's why did you have this huge discrepancy, the AI detection is proving that you AI'd all of modules one through five, it's not worth it. Uh, at, at the end, there's even the option where that uh, performance task could be your final mark. So yes, great, you did 95% on all of your uh, modules, and at the very end, you somehow managed to get 4% on the performance task. Ooh. That's gonna trigger a whole bunch of flags and then we go down a whole unfortunate route. So at the end, again, hopefully this is getting to be a little bit redundant. Do the work and you'll do well on everything else, I promise you. Finally, at the very end here, uh, you may see this message show up uh, if, uh, depending on which school you're taking this through, um, it is a placeholder. Basically what we're saying is you're not keeping pace with what we've kind of outlined. So you'll see that the mark goes in as a zero and you'll get that message. It is not a final mark in there. It is meant just to say, hey, you haven't been keeping pace. When you actually hand in your work, we will gladly fix it for you. And last but not least, hey, this is basically designed to help you do well in school. This, these courses are in the modules and the material there is to help you do well in life. So to not be too kind of, you know, big picture-ish here, it, it's stuff to actually help you. So it's, uh, material that we put together that we thought, man, I wish somebody would have told us that back in the day. Uh, and it's stuff that we know from our experience in the classroom that actually helps you. And frankly, just as being an old person, uh, it is actually something that will help you maybe a little bit in life too. So hopefully you'll take away some cool stuff from these courses and uh, best of luck.